Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the George Mason Patriots and the Tennessee Volunteers. And here's a look at our Star Watch comparison. There's a look, Dick, at the starting lineups. Brad, keep your eye on the two kids at the power forward position. In just about every game, they find a way to contribute. Yes, definitely something the viewers must keep an eye on. All right, guys are in position, and we're ready for the tip. And with the tip, we're underway. Moving it around the perimeter. Long picks up the foul. First team foul. But it's about improvement day by day, year after year. Gets the first shot. Second shot is no good. Chisholm comes up with it. Gets it to go. Defense breaks down again. Number three takes it away. The Volunteers in transition. He hammers it home. Dipsy do, Doug Carew, are you kidding me? The Volunteers looking to attack now in transition. Tries for two, drains it. Down into the two major food groups, and that's passing and score. I tell you, Brad, he can get an easy eight assists a game or put up 15 to 20 points on any given night. A well-rounded player who has a good feel for the game. Feed inside for the bucket. Goes. And it's dripped. Active hands. Here they go in transition. And the slam. Tries for two. Great shot. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy. And it's knocked loose. The Volunteers looking to attack in transition. I'm stepping it, man. Take a look right here. On the left side. Bad decision there by the senior. They run it up into transition. For two. He couldn't get it to fall. What do you think, Dick? He's pleased with the manner in which they're playing their up-tempo style. I overheard him saying that if this continues, he likes his team's chances. Guys? Thanks, Ian. Working around the arc. And one too many dribbles and a steal. And now getting back the other way on the break. Hey, Brad, he finishes this one off the transition. Yeah, we've got a pause in the action. More NCAA basketball coverage coming up right after this. The Volunteers are on the run. Kicks it out. He shoots from the deep corner. Busts the J. One minute. Now they work it around the perimeter. And a slam. Cross court. Goes up for two. There was no doubt about that one. At the half, the Volunteers lead by 17. Tennessee found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team. And a... Like a full court man to man press, Mr. Vitale. On the wing with the J. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Buried it. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Tries for two. That's a good-looking bucket out of the transition, Brad. Go 
going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Kicks it out. Looks at a three. Gets the J to fall. And a momentary look from three-point land for two. Scorches the net. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Now in transition. Goes up for two. Makes it. They better have a sit. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals the ball. Here they come now on a turnover. There was no doubt about that one. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. It's a fast break possibility. For two, it sticks. But five. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Fans are pleased now. Four minutes left on the game clock. Prince handles the pass. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside chambers. They've got to attack inside and then out. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Gets it to fall. Number three is called for the foul. First personal foul. It's a team effort across the board so far today. Dave. I think they're really close the defense fits before you off on offense, but a team can play strong across all five positions on the floor. Williams handles the pass. Number 32 with the foul. Third team foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first. Second one, no good. He shoots from the corner. Busts the jumper. The Volunteers did a great job of going through the high post on that play. You know, it's a good offense when you can position a player at high post and then have the ball delivered to a scoring threat. We've got a timeout. More ESPN coverage of the NCAA coming up right after this. Terrible execution on offense. The Patriots with the push. Entry pass in the paint. That's good. Number. For the bucket. He gets that one to fall. Number. Isn't it great, Brad? Number 45 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Chance to get an easy one here. He hits his first. Gets two at the charity strike. Pushes it up. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Inside. He's in the clear. Excellent jump shot right there. Pushes it up. Jams in possession. Shooting from the three-point line. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Goes up for two. Tries for two. He nails the bucket. Takes it. When you want that inside presence, his size and power is an asset. He shoots from the corner. Reveals the ball. Now looking to attack. Arm and foul. Steps to the line for the freebie. He gets it to go. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He doesn't miss that opportunity either. 
They're nailed. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Jumper won't go. Pushes it up. The Volunteers, well, they proved me wrong. That they were able to bounce back and get the W. They came in this game looking to avoid the start of a losing streak, and they did it. Look for them to keep up this energy for their next game and start a series of wins.